you've got your brand new power base, you've got it hooked up into your track and you want to get to playing with it, well, all you've got to do is plug in the power supply. The unit will boot up into basic mode where you can run races and uh, program your cars. If all you want to do is run some laps and have some fun, just plug your controller into controller one, put your car on the track, and start going. While you're running laps, the display will show you uh, the lap time of your most recent lap. And so you can have fun trying to get the best lap time. Now once you want to uh, do some racing though, you're, you're going to have to switch modes because most digital cars come pre-programmed to uh, car ID 1. So if you just put them on the track, they'll all be controlled by the same controller. Which is kind of fun for a little while, but not much of a race. So the first thing you want to do is program the cars to the controllers that are going to control them. So we need to push the down scroll button to exit the pre-race practice mode. And then the screen will say race. We use the side scroll buttons so that the screen says prog, which means program. And then we push down to get into the program mode. Now, any controller with, uh, that has their brake button pushed will program any car that's on the track. So I want the red car to be controller one and the blue car will be controller 2. So I leave the red car on the rails and press the brake button to program it. Now the red car is controlled by controller 1. So I take that off the rails, put the blue car on the rails, grab my controller 2, and press the brake button to program the blue car. Now it's controlled by the blue controller plugged into controller port 2. Now that I've done my programming, I press up to get out of that mode, scroll to the race screen, and now I can set up my race. I press down to go to the race type selector, and then I can go left and right to choose what kind of race I'm going to do. To start off, I'm just going to do a F1 race, which is basically a lap limited race. Now I can set how many laps I want to do, and I believe the default is 20 laps. I've set this to 10 laps. To change my laps, I just scroll side to side to get to the number I want to change and then up and down to change that number. So if I wanted to do 9,999 laps, I could do that just by going to the thousands place and going to nine and then the hundreds and tens and ones. I'm not gonna do that many laps. So I'll bring that down to zero, bring that down to zero, and leave that at 10 laps. When I've got my laps selected, I just push enter so that that's set. And when I'm ready to start my race, I put my cars behind the line because the first time they cross the line is the start of their first lap. Uh, so we want them to start behind the line so that they cross, that starts their lap, and then the next time they cross, finishes their first lap, and so on. When I'm ready to start the race, I push the start button, and the screen will count down and make beeps for five through one, and then we'll be ready to go. came off, so I pause the race, put my controllers down, make sure my cars are on the rails, and when I'm ready to race, I push the start button to continue the race. The race ended when the lead car finishes all its laps, and then the other cars get to finish the lap that they're on, and then it shows us how many laps down it was. So car two was down one lap. And so the screen is showing uh, standings, uh, lap difference, total number of laps, uh, the total time it took the cars to finish the race, and then each car's fastest lap. When you're all done looking at your, at your race ending information, just push enter, and you're back to the pull the trigger and go mode. And that's exactly what the screen says pull throttle trigger to go. So you just put your cars on the track and drive around. Let's do a time limited race. So I push down to go to the race selection screen and down again to choose what time of, type of race I want to do. I'm going to choose ED which stands for endurance. I push down again to set my time. The default is two minutes. Two minutes is the minimum. So you can't do a, an endurance race for less than two minutes. Uh, so, but you can certainly increase that all the way up to seven hours. So that's an endurance race right there, seven hours. 
Uh, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do two minutes. Push enter again when I'm done uh, making my changes. And as soon as I'm ready to start the race, I push this start button on power base. And we get the countdown just like last time. For a time limited race, as soon as the time finishes, every car on the track stops where it is and the race standings are displayed. Same as before, it shows total laps, lap difference, total time, fastest lap, and standings. So according to this, car 2 got first place, car 1 got second place. When we're all done looking at our post-race data, we just push the enter key to go back into the practice mode, and we're ready to play some more. This power base can do a whole lot more than just simple races. It has the ability to run pace cars, uh, yellow flag mode for track calling, two-lane analog mode so you can run your analog cars on the same track, uh, just not at the same time as digital cars, and a whole lot more and we're going to cover all those things in different videos for you guys so keep an eye on this channel for future videos with details about the new Skelectric advanced digital six car power base thanks for watching